Welcome to Endangered Art, where we teach you how to draw some of your favorite animals while teaching you fun facts about wildlife. And today's animal, you're going to have to guess who it is. It's a bird, lives in the rainforest, loves to eat fruit. Can anyone guess who it is? Well, it's a toucan. And I'm going to teach you guys how to paint that. So start getting your art supplies together. Get a couple paint brushes and some of your acrylic paint and any canvas that you want and we're gonna get started. On the screen you'll see some of the colors that we're gonna use today. So go ahead and add those to your palette. Grab a couple towels to dry off your brushes and a clean cup of water. So let's get started on our painting. You're gonna to wanna to grab your largest paintbrush. I'm using a large flat square brush. Any brush is fine. Then go ahead and dip your brush into your cup of water and apply a thin layer of water onto your canvas. This water is going to help us blend our colors together once we start laying some colors in the background. And once you have enough water on your canvas, go ahead and dry your brush on your towel and then dip it into your dark green paint and start putting little dabs of green paint all over the canvas, kind of like big green clouds and it doesn't have to be in the same areas as I'm doing this is gonna be our background for our painting and since two cans are native to the rainforest let's go ahead and create our own forest backdrop and since two cans are native to the Amazon rainforest let's go ahead and create a rainforest backdrop Toucans play a vital role in the rainforest ecosystem by helping regrow plants and trees with their poop. Since toucans are frugivores, their poop contains a lot of seeds from the fruit they eat, and those seeds sprout trees that provide shelter and food for other animals that live in the rainforest. And those trees also benefit us humans as well. They absorb a lot of carbon dioxide from the environment and other harmful greenhouse gases. Next, we're gonna use that same paintbrush and dip into our yellow paint. Keep your brush dry and use the water on the canvas to mix with your dark green color. And start making small circles with your brush to help blend those colors together. And you can use as much or as little yellow as you like. It's entirely up to you. I'm using the yellow to create the illusion of the sun poking out through the tops of the trees. And you can add more green to the background if you like. It's really up to you guys. Each painting is going to be completely different from one another. And I want to see what your paintings look like once we're done here. And I'll put those links to our social media page on our screen. So after you're done, post your paintings on our media sites. I want to see what your paintings look like. And also leave some comments down below of some of your favorite animals and we might use your suggestions in next month's painting. Now once you have enough yellow on your canvas with your same brush, go ahead and dip into your green blue paint and start dabbing it towards the bottom of the canvas to create depth in the background and lightly blend it into your other colors. You really don't have to push too hard to mix these colors together. You lightly dabbing the brush on the canvas. We just want really nice, light, fluffy strokes. Thank you. 
And then with that brush, go ahead and grab some of the light blue. And this is going to be our sky. And I'm going to fill the middle of the canvas with this light blue color. And then I'm going to go back and blend a little bit more of the greens to get a very nice wide range of color in the background. And then you can see I'm definitely adding more yellow to the top of the tree to give it some nice highlight and make it look like the sun is poking out. Now once you're happy with your blending and whatever's in the background, go ahead and let your painting dry for a few minutes. This is a really important step that you guys need to take and just pause for a few minutes, let your painting dry, and then once the painting is completely dry, you can move on to the next step, which is creating the toucan's body. So once you have let your painting dry for a little bit, we're going to be moving on to the next step, which is creating the body of the toucan. But before we start, we need to think about where we're going to be placing our toucan. I recommend drawing yours a little bit off center to give yourself plenty of room to draw the bill of the toucan later in the painting. So now that we decided on a good spot for our toucan, we're going to outline the shape of the body. And to do that, we're going to draw a round trapezoid shape, which is going to be the lower half of the toucan's body. So with your black paint, start to sketch out a basic outline and then fill in the middle space with a thick layer of black paint. You want to lay down enough black paint to completely cover the background colors. Next, we're going to add the toucan's head, and to do that, we're going to start by making a straight line from the left side of the top left corner, and then make a curved line connecting to the back of the right side. Thank you. 
And once you're happy with your line, go ahead and fill in the middle space with more black paint. This is also a good time to round out your edges if you want to adjust the shape of the body a little bit more. And you're going to see that I'm constantly changing the shape as I go through my painting. And while we wait for the paint to dry on the body, let's add the toucan's tail. Using the same brush, start from the bottom left of the body and make a curved line going out. Toucans have a few tail feathers, so let's make a smaller curved line from the middle of one of the ones we just drew and make the line a little thicker and connect it back to the body of the toucan. I'm going to add another line down here on the bottom just to even out the tail. And then you'll see again that I am just fixing the edges of my toucan. And once you're happy with the shape of the body, you're going to need to let the paint dry again before we move on to the next step, which is drawing the bill of the toucan. And this is really important to let the paint dry. Since we're using black paint, I don't want to mix the black in with our orange and get a lot of muddy colors. So make sure that your black paint is completely dry before laying down our other colors. And I think this step is the most fun since we start using our brighter colors. So we're going to grab a small paintbrush and dip into our orange paint and make a curved line starting from the top of the toucan's head and heading downwards and creating a curved point and then having that line connect back to the base of the toucan's head. You're going to want to make the beak pretty long. On average, a toucan's beak is the same length as their entire body. And you would think that their beaks are very heavy, but they're lightweight since they're made of keratin, the same thing that your hair and fingernails are made of. And remember to fill in the center of the bill with a thick coat of orange paint to cover the previous layers of paint.
Go ahead and clean your brush. And we're going to mix some red with a little bit of orange on our palette. And then we're going to start to dab this color in random places on the bottom of the bill. Then you're going to grab a clean, fluffy, round brush and we're going to lightly blend those colors together by doing some little round circles. You really don't have to press hard. If you press very hard, you're actually going to be taking off paint and you're not going to want to do that. So just make sure you do very light, airy brush strokes. And then I'm going to use my large flat brush to add more orange and blend out those two colors. I'm going to go back and just add a little bit more black paint to round out the shape of my bird. And now that he has a bill, I can definitely get a better idea of the shape of the body. And we can add a little touch of yellow paint to the top of the bill. And while we wait for the foreground to dry, why don't we add a little more detail to the background of the painting. And since Toucan's main diet is fruit, let's go ahead and have our Toucan sitting in a nice orange tree. So let's make some oranges by grabbing our medium flat brush and using our orange paint, we're gonna make a circle in the upper right hand corner. And we're gonna add a few of these to the background and you can put as many oranges as you want. It's up to you. And I'm using nice broad strokes to create texture. And you'll notice that my circles are different sizes and different shapes. You definitely wanna mix it up. And once again, I'm gonna let my painting dry for a few minutes before moving on. Cause we do have a lot of wet paint that we're dealing with on the canvas right now. So once you're happy with the amount of oranges that you have in your background, we're gonna let those dry and we're gonna give something for our toucan to sit on. So using your medium or small brush, use your brown paint and create a diagonal line from the bottom left of the canvas going towards the right side. And the line is gonna run underneath the bottom of the toucan's body. 
And also don't worry about making the line perfectly straight. You want a line that has a couple of lumps and bumps on it to make it look like a normal branch that you would see outside. Because when you go outside, there aren't going to be any branches that are perfectly straight. You want a branch that looks like something you would actually see when you go outside your house. So once you're happy with the shape of your branch, you're going to want to fill in that middle space with more brown paint. And we're going to wash off that same brush and set it aside for later. And with one of your smaller brushes, we're going to start using the dark brown paint to create some shadows in the branch. And you're going to mostly focus on the area underneath the toucan to make it look like he's casting a shadow on the branch. I'm also going to put some random streaks of brown paint to make it look more realistic. And then clean your brush off and we're going to grab a little bit of yellow and add it to the branch to give it a little bit of highlight. And just like the dark brown, you can just add little dabs of this in areas and then lightly blend it in together. And then next, we're going to blend some colors together. So with a clean brush, grab some orange, a little bit of yellow, and some red, and add it to the bottom of the toucan's bill. Start blending the paint upwards to blend into the orange paint that we put on earlier. Then we're going to add some yellow to the top of the bill to make it look bright and colorful. There are over 40 different species of toucan and each species has a uniquely colored bill with colors that range from dark purple all the way to bright green. 
The one that we're drawing right now is our Toco Toucan, and they're mostly known for having that orange, brightly colored bill with a little bit of yellow and some dark red. And once you have enough yellow on your toucan's bill, start blending the yellow into the orange, just like what we did with the colors earlier on the bottom of the bill. And then you can always add more yellow as you go along if you want your toucan to have a very bright bill. I'm also going to take this chance to quickly wash my brushes and you'll notice that my water cup is pretty dirty. At any time you can always change your water if you feel like it's affecting your paint. Sometimes if the water is too dirty it'll kind of make your colors very muddy especially if you're using lighter colors like yellow here. It could really affect the way that your colors come up on the canvas. So now that the black paint has finished drying, we can start adding white to our toucan's face. And using a clean, medium-sized brush, we can grab some of the white paint and fill in the top part of the toucan. But make sure you leave some black around the edges. Also, put in some white near the throat of the toucan. Toko toucans have a wide range of sounds that they can make to communicate with one another and they also use their loud booming voices as a way of protecting themselves from predators like jaguars, boas, and owls. And you would think that their bills would be a perfect tool to protect themselves, but it's actually useless in a fight since it's too lightweight to cause any damage. So it's not very effective. So with the same brush, we're going to start using some of the black paint again and add some black to the tip of the toucan's bill. Now 
Then I'm going to clean up the edges using one of my smaller brushes. Then while we wait for that to dry, let's add some more detail to our background. Grab a clean brush and using our violet color, we're going to add some color to our oranges. And I'm going to use broad strokes to create a lot of texture in our background. And then I'm going to add some more orange to mix in with our violet. And I'm going to wash my brush again and start using some of my green blue paint. And with this color, we're going to add a few leaves to the top of our oranges. And we're going to use the same technique that we used to create the oranges. We're going to do a couple broad strokes on top of them just to make it look like there's a couple of leaves on top of our oranges. And once you've done that, we're going to add a little bit of yellow to the top of the leaves to make it look like the sun is reflecting off the leaves. And then you can go ahead and mix the yellow and the green together using your broad strokes again, nothing fancy.
and then we're going to add a little bit of yellow to our oranges to give them a nice highlight and then you can also add a little bit of orange or violet to them as well Next, we're going to use a clean brush and mix some orange and a little bit of white. And you're going to want to use more white than orange. And we're going to lightly brush this onto the white space of our toucan's face. And this is going to give our toucan's face a pop of color. And then grab your dry, fluffy brush and lightly blend the colors together. It's like we're kind of putting a little bit of blush on our toucan's face. So with some of our gray paint, we're going to create the toucan's talons and we're going to start on the bottom of his body and make it look like he's holding on to the branch that he's sitting on. Now you can see I'm just doing a thick curved line and one smaller curved line right next to it. Toucans have two toes in the front and two toes in the back to help give them stability when moving through the dense branches in the rainforest. So we're going to try and just make it look like he has two in the front right here. Then with the same brush, grab some black paint and we're going to make a little circle in the middle of the white space to make the toucan's eye. Now 
and then dry off your brush again. Add some more of the white to the body. My paint is starting to drip down, but that's okay. We can blend it in. We're going to start blending our black and our white lines together to erase that harsh line between the two colors. And we're just going to gently dab along the edges to smooth it out. And then we're going to use our fluffy dry brush again to blur those edges a little bit more. Let's go ahead and add some more detail to our toucan's feet. And with your smallest brush, we're going to create some of these black, thin, rigid lines on the toucan's talons. And they don't have to be perfectly straight. We want them to be a little bit wobbly. And now that I'm looking at my background, I just want to add a little bit more purple or violet. And I'm also noticing that the bill of my toucan is a little dull, so we're going to add some more yellow to give it a nice shiny look. And once you have enough yellow, grab that dry fluffy brush again and we're going to blend it using some very light brush strokes. 
and then go back in with some more orange and keep blending until you're happy. Remember, this is supposed to be fun. We're all just having a good time painting and learning about toucans. Next, we're going to grab our smallest brush and get some light blue and put a little bit of blue inside of the toucan's eye. And right now, he looks a little like an anime toucan, but once we're finished, we're going to add some highlights and shadows, and it's going to look a lot different. And with the same brush, grab some white and add a small amount off center. and then a little bit of black in the center to make the pupil. And I'm gonna add a little bit more black to the edges and on the bill, so, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna add a little bit more, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more of the black paint on the edges and on the bill, since I can still see a small amount of the background color peeking through.
And then with your smallest brush again, I'm going to create a small outline around the toucan's eye. Just think of it, touch of eyeliner. You can even give your toucan a winged eyeliner look if you want to. And then I'm going to add a little bit more black in between the bill and the white space. And that's it. That's going to be our final step. You have finished your painting of a Toko Toucan. So now that you guys are finished, your painting should look a little bit like this. And I want to see what your paintings look like. So don't forget to post your painting on our social media sites, which are linked down here below. And go ahead and leave any comments down on our YouTube channel for any animals that you want to see featured in our upcoming videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye, everyone.